Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the second week of August. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, so this reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is fluid, but we're going to see what I can kind of come up with for the second week of August for you. So what do we have for Aquarius? We're going to get a couple of these to start. I'm going to tag the first one to it. The first one seemed to be pretty relevant. Uh, these fell out. We're going to take them. Mmm. Grapes. Time to go and have fun. Time is ripe. It's time to go have some fun. March. Something may happen in March. You know, whatever happens now may... Uh, something comes out of it in March. Hills, obstacles to overcome. So you're going to have to overcome some obstacles, some challenges. Camel, persevere and you will overcome your problems. So you are going to have to uh, persevere. You obviously have some obstacles to overcome. But by March, you're going to be where you need to be. But you're being told to go out and have some fun. So maybe this month you go out and have some fun. Nope, we got one that flipped. Page of Pentacles reversed. Now this is no fun. This is not having any fun. Or having too much fun. It could go both ways. But the Page of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that lacks focus, okay? That lacks, this is lack of commitment. This is um, unhealthy, doesn't really want responsibility, really not interested. So you may not be interested in something this week. We'll find out what it is here in a minute. Maybe you're not interested in having a relationship. Because this is a relationship. This is happiness. But this is about balance and making a decision. This is justice. There could be some sort of legalities this week. Something could be going in your favor. Um, this does have something to do with happily ever after. You may be receiving something that could bring balance to your life. And you're being told to take it. I mean, go out and have some fun with this. But this is not really interested. So it feels like you have an opportunity for a happy relationship. But you may not be putting in any effort or trying very hard to uh, go down that path. Ah, oh, worried. You may be worried about something. Um... Let me just go ahead and zoom this in. That is very, very worried. Now, justice is about balance and making a decision. So you're going to have to make a decision this week. It's like you have an opportunity. You can choose to ignore it or you can choose to take it. Ten of Swords with a Three of Swords. So there's some sort of heartache here. That's pain. That's pain. Real, a lot of pain. Being stabbed in the heart. Being stabbed, uh, betrayed. And you're worried. You take a look at that. I see very, very worried about getting hurt again. Very worried. So, that's what I see. I see that you are very, very, very worried. Um, there's a betrayal here. You may have been betrayed in the past. Somebody broke your heart. Somebody stabbed you in the heart. You know, something has happened. This is a uh, painful ending. It is very painful. And I think that you are very, very worried about uh, getting yourself involved in that kind of situation again. So maybe that's why you aren't um, really focusing on a relationship. So anyway, I think there's an opportunity for a relationship here. And maybe that's why there's obstacles to be, be overcome. I feel like the obstacles are fear you know, worry, anxiety. I think that you have an opportunity that has camp that has come into your life, okay? And I think that you're very, very fearful of it. And that's why you're really not giving it very much um, effort. And, it, you know, and I think that a previous relationship ended 
quite badly, but now you have an opportunity for happiness. And it feels like you're being told to go for it. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Hmm. I think you've been through a painful separation or you will be going through it this week. For some of you, because this is for the week of the second week of August, this is a painful separation where, you know, something ended very, very badly. Now, this is giving up. Now, the Ten of Swords is a breakdown, you know? It's the death of a situation. Not sure, maybe you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Hold on, I just gotta turn my phone off. Um, you could be dealing, but it could be with anybody. It doesn't have to be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with anybody. This, you have somebody here that has a really big heart. And it, and it could be you. If you are a female, this could be your energy. This is a big-hearted woman. This is a healer, somebody that is very intuitive, could be a counselor. This person is tender, loving, kind, generous. And, and this could be your energy, but this is a female. Okay, so you there is a female here that can take very good care of you. That can help you to heal. That can help you to heal from this broken heart. If you are uh, the, the feminine watching this, I feel like you have an opportunity to help somebody heal. You may be dealing with somebody that has a broken heart. If you are the feminine watching this. And that's why they're not putting in effort. They're very afraid. We have a, I think we have a masculine here that is very, very, very afraid of getting into a long-term relationship and getting into a commitment because of previous, you know, betrayal. And But there is a feminine here who has a lot of love to offer and I think that um, she can help to heal. This is like a healing individual. Um, yeah, not putting in much effort. A lot of carrying a lot of baggage very very burdened we have somebody here that is burdened by previous heartbreak and it is definitely time to let it go it's time to let it go I feel like um, you are being given an opportunity this week to deepen a bond or to start a relationship with somebody but either you or the other person is too uh hurt they're too hurt to put in much effort there's one-sidedness here it's like you you can't be in a relationship if it's one-sided okay this is a relationship heartache one-sidedness there's not equal re reciprocation we have a lot of tens here too ten 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 so completion 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 there's a completion of a cycle this week we have a cycle that is completing in your life this is an ending okay it's the end of suffering it's the end of heartbreak it's the end of being alone okay but you have to take the initiative per se to let go of maybe it's animosity to let or grudge or whatever it is that you're you're holding on to it feels like you're trying to protect yourself as well now this is a new contract so i feel like you have an opportunity to you know, get into a relationship contract with somebody. You know, this is a commitment. But the fear is great. It is definitely great. A lot of, a lot of, um, you may have a lot of responsibilities. You know, maybe you're too busy. Maybe, maybe you're, you aren't putting in enough effort to a relationship because you're too busy 
you know, for some of you, and maybe it could be it could be you or the other person, somebody has a lot of responsibilities and they are neglecting a relationship. But there is definitely an opportunity to have one. Um, there is somebody here that has been very, very hurt. And it could be the feminine as well. This feminine could be the one that is very, very hurt. But if you look here, this is, an, this, is a, this is a couple that, you know, could be very, very happy together. Anyhow, there's, there, we do have somebody here that has been in a near-death experience that really, really uh, hurt them. And maybe it's both people. We could have, because this is both sides, two sides. We could have both people here that have been both very, very hurt. And neither one of them want to put in any effort to a relationship. But there's an opportunity for a relationship here. But there's been some serious heartache. There's been some serious pain that has, you know, caused somebody to be too fearful to get themselves involved. Anyhow. Endings lead to new beginnings. These tens are completions. I feel like there's... Uh, not really wanting responsibility. It feels like the... Um, universe is trying to realign with these tens. Oh, I just got another one. This fell right out. Oh, interesting. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And the Ace of Pentacles is on the bottom in the upright. So this is going down. You got a golden opportunity this week. It's like God, the hand of God gives you this opportunity. This is a yes. Go for it. The, it's like the universe is giving you a gift they're handing you a gift, Aquarius. Don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. There's an opportunity for long-term stability here, for something solid, for something stable. You know, after being hurt, I think that you have been hurt, and I think whoever you have dealt with has been hurt. But there's an opportunity to heal together, to heal your hearts together. I think neither one of you are really putting in a lot of effort. And I think neither one of you are really putting in a lot of effort because it's a protection tactic. But I feel like this week you have been given a golden opportunity to go down a new path. Both of these cards lead to something solid, long term, like a forever kind of thing. Should you go down that path and take the opportunity. So I do believe you are going to be uh, getting an opportunity. I think you manifested it. You know, this is a card of manifested manifestation. You manifested something new. They have brought it to you, and this will bring balance to your life. There, there, there. Whoever you're dealing with has been through similar circumstances as you, and I think that you are both heartbroken. And I think that you can you can um, bring balance to each other's lives or balance you out your emotions or whatever together if you both put in effort. But anyhow, I feel like we have a feminine here that is probably waiting. I think that she is waiting. She sees that somebody is overwhelmed. She sees that somebody is burying themselves in everything but love. She does. She's very intuitive. This person knows. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. Anyway, there is there is uh, something coming your way. This is this is everything has turned out as as it should. Whatever ended that broke your heart wasn't meant to be. Okay, everything has turned out as it should. It wasn't meant to be because you have somebody here that has a big heart. You have somebody here that is very loving. This person is very kind and gentle and loving. I think
think that you need to be honest and upfront and try working with this person, communicate with this person, work together. There's an opportunity for mutual respect and for you to work well with this person. Anyhow, I feel like this week you are going to be given an opportunity, another chance perhaps for a relationship or something like that. And you're going to have to face your fears. You are. You're going to have to face your fears and, you know, put in effort. I think that you need to put in effort. And you need to you need to open your heart. You need to follow your heart. This is a permanent love. You have an opportunity for forever with somebody that isn't going to hurt you like the last one did if you give them a chance. Time to go out and have some fun. Good luck.